Okay, hello YouTubers. I just want to make a quick video about this uh, OLED LCD screen I just got. And how to use it a little bit. I have the code and stuff. And here it is on on eBay. It's uh, 128 by 64 pixels. And it's a... Uh, has a it's like partially uh, uh, divided the top part of it is uh, orange and the bottom part of it's blue so it's a two color but um, it doesn't it only has those two colors you can't change it any other color and um, so here it is if you wanna buy it or you already have it you're looking for some code on how to use it um, here it is wired up it's gonna these are little these four things are uh, digital uh, switches, and I see that the little dot that control the direction of the dot. You go up to the right, down, left. So just it it didn't take me very long. It's super easy to use. If you need the code, just you know, e let me know. You know, email me, and I'll email it to you, and I'll e email you the four libraries that are required for this you need a uh, where's my mouse go you need uh, these four right here and um, it's compatible with any Arduino uh, one of these right here or little ones I like to use the little ones because I can put them on the breadboard and they're good to go I have four of these uh, digital switches I got on eBay too it's a three pin um, positive negative and ground and then the other pin is out so by if, if by chance you, you don't happen to not have uh, these switches you can also use a push button switch but you gotta make sure that you uh, c connect a 10k resistor um, to the pin so you have, you have the pin hooked up a 10k resistor and then to the switch and the other side of the switch connected to, to positive 5 volts and here's Arduino pin 6, pin 7, pin 8, pin 9. And then you have the four 10K resistors on each switch. And then you have four switches and then the other side connected to positive 5 volts. And then the other side of the, you know, connected to the ground. And uh, you have to have ground for this. If you just do 5 volts, it won't work. You have to make sure you have those 10 resistors, I mean 10K resistors for each one of the switches. And it's a very, very simple little program. You can go a lot with this. You got sky's the limit. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns, you know, just let me know. Thank you so much.